Hey guys, uh, this is Icarus, and I have a new video for you guys. Um, Eve AIO has finally came out with their uh, major version release. Um, it's called Eve AIO X, and um, I'm hoping that this puts Eve back into the running um, as one of the top bots out there. Um, it used to be really, really good, and it kind of tapered off, and I think a lot of it had to do with their development around um, Eve AIO X, and what's coming out seems to be really nice. Um, so today's uh, March 2nd, I, I want to say it came out like about two weeks ago. I haven't had a really chance to play with it. And a lot of people did really well on week one Supreme uh, with Eve. And also did really good on some foot sites. Um, hope that some of the options I think we're going to go over uh, will help in easy supply uh, in the future. I don't think it's quite ready yet. But uh, this is just my initial tour. Um, I'm just opening it, uh, getting it run, and I just kind of want to go through it with you guys and, and see what I see. Um, I know there's a few things here that I'm kind of excited about. So I always like to go to settings and see what, what they've done in settings. So I just set up the 1.008. Um, you get your license activations here. Um, so one thing that I've heard is that uh, around quick uh, remote tasks, um, they have opened up the ability to just do Beyond Shopify. So I think you can even do foot site quick tasks, um, which is really great. Uh, so you have to go in through the API. So if, you have, if you're working with a cook group, you got to make sure that they update their APIs to be able to work with a new Eva AOX. Um, let's see. You have different modes. So it looks like they've simplified the modes available. So API calls, human, which is kind of a simulator, that kind of goes to the web browser. This is like a, like a, I would say similar to an extra safe mode in TKS. Um, if you've used that, and then a manual mode where it like opens up a web browser and, and goes through your things. Um, you have auto paste from clipboard. Don't know exactly how that works, but cool. Uh, so sound notifications. Nothing too special here. You can turn on your, your automatic success. All right, um, tools. So I think this is where, where things really uh, are great. So you have an knowledge base where you can search for information about a site. Uh, Shopify manager, uh, this has to do with uh, preset settings that you may want to set per site. It also does a shipping rate. Now I've, a lot of the shipping rates got nerfed, but it's still there. Um, you can play with it. it. May help you out sometimes. Let's see. Um, Splash Breaker. So this is a. This is what I'm really excited about. This is a pretty much browser with a proxy switcher on it. So you can put in, let's say, parker.com. Put in a proxy. If you have a proxy, that already is already brand new. You can put like maybe three. Uh, browses and it opens up to locker.com three times free so you can try to go through your splash sites. Um, excited about easy supply and Adidas with these. Um, I believe as of now, there's still antibody against a lot of this. So Adidas, I remember when I was playing around with some stuff, uh, Adidas is really good at detecting if your web browser is controlled. And while you're c controlling this manually, um, there is a script that's kicking off the browser and is detecting that there's some, it's just being started up through a script. And Adidas detects that and it keeps it as a bot so you can't get through. Uh, he does it with easy supply. Um, I think they're uh, working on how to solve that. It might be just a way to change a browser. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but this has a lot of potential, at least they're starting this way. So maybe they'll address that Adidas and easy supply soon. Um, so these are the tools, and these are the cookie importers. So let's see what they got here. Converse finish line, Foot Locker. Now some uh, bots have stopped the requiring use of this, but it looks like this is here. Maybe they need to add this easy supply and help with the cookies, and maybe that helps around some of the splash break stuff. But we'll see. Oh, uh, let's go to the dashboard. Dashboard looks kind of cool, so they've moved all your settings to the left. Um, import, export your settings. Let's look what a new task looks like. Um, 
All right, so you still have the same stuff. You want to go down to Shopify. You can pick your Shopify sites here. Um, there's a Travis sites, all that they have, Trophy Room Store, so and so. Um, so let's see. So the, the, the support of this always changes because like Foot Locker and stuff, you know, they're constantly, you know, breaking things and that so you can't go through. Um, but their attempt to go through, is pretty, uh, hit a lot of sites is, is pretty good. Um, I think it tends to be better for European sites. So if you're a European user, I think Eve does a little bit better for sites than US, but there you go. Um, profiles, nothing special here. So Eve looks like if they still kept the general three tab view. Um, I was hoping they would do a little bit more with this, but I don't think this is too bad. Um, oh, here's a weight share checkpoint. I think this got nerfed, um, but it's it's here. Um, general. Oh, what, that's nice. So this part, this uh, top part of the window stays the same. But general does your sizing. So this is, I don't know, this is okay. This is not bad. So these are just some of my thoughts. So let me know what you guys think about this interface, um, about having these three tabs. Uh, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear your feedback. Um, I don't think this is actually against these. So this is still cool. So we, we still have our watch tasks um, that can create some mass create. And you can make a lot of tasks. Payment resubmission. So this is still... Um, you have to set, so you always want to set this at 999, so just keep resubmit, uh, submitting payments if you want to try. All right, there you go. Those are, I'm just talking off the top of my head right now. Um, success window, oh, there you go. You can you can send your successes out to people. Woohoo! Uh, brag. So this is what I still, I, I like Eve for their profiles. I wish, uh, other bots would take this uh, example. Um, you can create groups of profiles, which is kind of cool. So you can, I don't know, so let's just let's pick some numbers here. Save this profile name, we have to get rid of name, so uh, first. Save. So can I duplicate this? So let's see. This is edit. There we go. This is like a duplicate. All right. So let's change this profile to. It's kind of weird. I don't. I don't like that you have to go down to a, a second window to give it the name of a profile. So, um, but hey, eh, it is what it is. I don't know. Let me know, like, as I go through this, let me know what your thoughts are. And, um, and maybe this feedback might go to Eve. Maybe they'll listen. Maybe they'll tell me to go to hell. I don't know. But this is what I like about it. So you can create a group. And let's create a group name. So let's call this uh, my main checkout. And then uh, hit save. Let's see, how do you add a profile? Oh, maybe you have to again go here and uh, is that how you sign it to the group? How do you sign it to a group? Let's see, maybe if you go to edit and go to additional data. No. Don't see how to add it to a group. My main group name. No, that's not what I want. I want to add these profile group. Oh, there we go. So let's see the groups. There we go. So that was really odd. So you had to like click on these and then so I wonder if I do this. If I do my main, does that mean there's only one? How do I how do I remove a group? How do I manage a group? All right. Okay, so let's 
So maybe this needs a little bit of work. This is not as intuitive as I thought. All right. <clears throat> oh, is this a randomizer? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a randomizer. You can create. You can create stuff on the fly here. So you can make test stuff. All right. Uh, Web hooks. Nothing fancy here. Captcha. So this is what I like. I was playing. I, I did open this right before I made the video. So you can see captchas. They they're able to support multiple captchas. Now I don't know why this stuck on solver three. I wish. So what I did was I went like this, and just the way that it randomly names things is really weird. But you can't go to zero. So now next time this starts, this will be at four. And then this will go back to two. And one doesn't exist somewhere, but there's four. So there's a bug in the way the solvers are named. But so now that they've added checkpoints to uh, a lot of drops like Kith and stuff, you can have one of the solvers dedicated to your checkpoints and then one of them solving to check out. So that means like at that initial drop, you know, you're, you're solving checkpoints, you're, you're, you're solving, solving, solving. And then all of a sudden, if you get a hit on your second solver here, that means it's not a checkpoint. That means it's trying to check out. You want to switch your attention from this solver to this solver. Um, so I like that, that they're able to, to uh, direct your uh, checkouts, I mean your uh, catches to the right solver so you can prioritize during a drop. And I think that's kind of important. I don't know if, does anybody use two capture and anti capture? Um, I think this is kind of a cool idea. I don't know if people actually use this, um, but let me know. What do you guys think? If this works for you guys or not. Um, proxies, nothing, nothing special here. You create your proxies, um, create your proxy list, give it a test. Um, go ahead and you can type stuff in or you can just paste things in here. You know, just get the same testing, website testing, or pit, or just a straight ping. Um, nothing new. It's cool. Logs. Um, this is nice that you can kind of go through logs. I like this. Uh, we've been settings and tools. All right, so that's it. That's my initial like tour. Not really an overview, but it's a tour of what Eve looks like. Um, hopefully as these drops start coming up and when I start using it, um, I'll make some videos specifically on how to set certain things up. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think it looks great. Um, there's been a lot of really good success. You know, while a UI is important, I think it's important that the back end has changed. Um, and I'd like to see that. I, um, I'd like to see a lot of success coming from you personally, because I want to, I want to be able to cop a lot. Um, but yeah, um, Eve IOX, uh, the newest uh, iteration of these guys. And we'll see if this takes them back to the top as uh, the cycle of bots uh, goes up and down and ebb and flow. All right. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, any comments on what you want to see? If you find this interesting or helpful a lot, that uh, helps me out. And I will catch you guys soon. Thanks.